Hello, um, I wanted to talk briefly about geneticmatrix.com and how they calculate time zones wrong. This is something I brought up many times on my channel and I just kind of wanted to go over it for a minute. I was looking through old emails, my first contact with John, the founder of Genetic Matrix, was back in February of 2018 when I uh, found a mistake, he'd just a typo he'd made uh, with the fourth line. And so I sent him the update and he fixed it and then couple, was it one month later? Oh, yeah. So then, okay, so here's what happened. So February, I message him with an update with a fix for his site, and he fixes it. Then in March, I've posted on, um, I've, I've posted on, well, I'm trying to see what group this is on. I, I, I can't tell from the screenshot. But, um, and then he says, Jonah, a bit rude, saying I don't understand time zones. I have written my own HD software. The last time I checked, the charts are correct. End of conversation, I guess. There must be one from before that. I don't think I can see how we got there. Oh yeah, that was on the 22nd. On the 21st, <laughs> we have 15 messages from the 21st to the 22nd. Yeah, okay, we had a bit of a back and forth. 15 emails sent back and forth. Uh, I said, hello, someone asked me in a human design group on Facebook to contact you about natural time zones, is what he's calling them. She posted a thing about how up to 50% of human design charts or more could be wrong because they're not using natural time zones. So this was an advocate uh, for a genetic matrix way of calculating time zones. I said, could you elaborate on this subject? Quite interested to hear more. So then he replies, Human design reveals were imprinted by neutrinos. Neutrinos received are the basis of the human design chart, yada, yada. Um, it's based on where you were born on Earth and at what time, local time. This local time is then converted back to universal coordinated time, UTC, to calculate the chart. All HD software in the world uses human UTC time zone information and labels. But neutrinos do not respect human Maya labels. In short, the world should be divided into 15 equal degree segments covering 24 hours. Any place of birth in that 15 degree segment should utilize that as its time zone for chart purposes. So because 360 divided by 15, you know, is 24. Okay, so then he says, take Madrid. It's west of London geographically, but is in the human UTC plus one time zone. But naturally and geographically, this is what neutrinos respect, parenthetically. Madrid is in the UTC time zone. So the chart is off by one hour using human time zones. So, okay. So John already misunderstands this, like really misunderstands this. When he's saying that Madrid is west of London and so it should have a different time zone, Look, all we're trying to do when we're trying to calculate a UTC time zone, we're trying to see, we're trying to see what time, you know, atomic on an atomic clock down to the microsecond even, you know, what time it is. And it is a single time at any given point of time. Like in London right now, it's, you know, what, six hours later or something or seven hours later, depending on what time zone you're in from where I am. And the fact of the matter is, you know, he's, yeah, he's saying, like, he's saying that Madrid is left, is west of London, so it should be earlier time zone. It shouldn't be a later time zone. The fact of the matter is, it doesn't matter what the local time zone is. I could say it's noon, and then the next county over could say it's 5 p.m., and the next county over could say it's 5 a.m., all at the exact same time. It doesn't matter where we are in the world. All we have to do is know how many hours we're converting off of UTC, right? We need to convert back to UTC. So yeah, John considers, so he first he says the chart is off by one hour using human time zone, off from its natural time zone. This is insane, this is idiotic. I mean, like, no, there's no such thing as natural time zone. His natural way of dividing the 24 hours, the 15 degree segments, 
Okay, so then he goes, bizarrely, Spain changed in 1939 to UTC plus one. Before that, all the charts were UTC. Run a chart for 1937 Madrid, another for 1941, you'll see the change. These charts cannot be correct because the geographical location of the place has not changed, exclamation point. You cannot physically lift a country out of one time zone and put it in another. The neutrinos would laugh at such human behavior. Okay, it should be clear at this point, if, if you, my viewer, understands how time zones work, if you don't, I can explain it, but I mean, it's, it's very simple. It's much simpler than what John is making it out to be. Okay, let's say we have an atomic clock in London, and that atomic clock is set to GMT, which is identical to UTC. Okay, so that atomic clock allows us then, if we can tell what time it is in the, for that atomic clock, we can see the exact planetary locations, we can tell the neutrinos, everything. So we have to convert back to this UTC because our Swiss ephemeris database say, or our NASA JPL Labs database is using UTC. In fact, it's standard across the world in computer programming to use UTC as the kind of universal time. Okay, so we have universal time. Now let's say it's 1937 and you know Spain is this many hours off universal time in this direction, and then it's 1941 and they're this many hours off. Doesn't matter, they could be 11 hours off, they could be 20 minutes off, they could be 14 hours and 32 seconds off. It doesn't make a difference to us what human made, guess what, newsflash, all time zones are human, okay, all time zones are human applied. It doesn't make a difference at all, zero difference. All we need to do is convert back to UTC. So, Spain changed to UTC plus one. Before that, it was just UTC. So run a chart from Madrid, another, you know, from 37, another from 1941. I mean, you don't even have to run that far apart. You could actually run a mere second apart if you know the exact second that it changed. I'm a computer programmer. I worked at Amazon.com, you know, during a time when, when we had to do a lot of updates, company-wide updates to how we handled time zones. So I've done a lot of work with time zones. So basically, John's making it way more complicated. He thinks that the time zone, like, somehow means it's actually a different time. Time zones are a way to actually say it's the same time. It's the opposite. He thinks when you change a time zone, you're changing the time. You're not changing the time. You're changing the translation layer between the local time and the universal time. So there's these things called translation layers, right? It's an abstraction layer in computer programming terms. And all you're trying to do is translate coordinates from one system to another, and it's a one-to-one -one translation. It doesn't matter what time zone you say you're in. We're just trying to convert back. So here's the thing, because John ignores, I mean, sorry, not, not scare quote ignores, he ignores um, human times. I'm doing the scare quotes for human times because that's such a bizarre idea. You know, like he says, you know, Madrid is west of London geographically, but is in human UTC plus one. And he puts the quotes on there. Well, that's a bizarre idea, all time zone. I mean, the idea that there's a natural time zone and a human time zone is like, like this guy should be banned from, from ever taking part in any human design conversation ever. Because the fact that he has done so much damage by literally giving people wrong charts, the fact that I've sent him 15 emails clarifying to him why he's wrong and he just completely, you know, la, 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 la. I mean, this guy should be banned for life from ever taking part in any human design discussion ever. Okay, let's go. Um, Okay, so all Spanish charts after 1939 are incorrect by one hour. That is massive in human design terms. That's what he's saying. So he's saying every Spanish chart is off by an hour. No, they're not. Every Spanish chart after 1939. You, every Spanish chart after 1939, you have to translate by an extra hour and you're not doing it, John. You're not doing it. Your website is not doing it because you're wrong about how time zones work. And, and you literally have said, word for word, that 64 Keys is wrong, that Jovian Archive is wrong, that my body graph is wrong, that literally everyone else is wrong, okay? Literally everyone else is wrong. So yeah, so here's John saying, all Spanish charts after 1939 are incorrect by one hour. Now consider that France, Belgium, etc., are all in the natural time zone of UTC, but all charts are calculated using UTC plus one. There's no such thing as a natural time zone versus a human time zone, John. You don't understand how they work. You don't understand. Like, literally, 
We're trying to translate to UTC so we can tell where the stars and the planets and everything are in the sky at that particular moment. Once you get to UTC, you're able to tell this by looking it up in an ephemeris or making calls to certain APIs. There's the JPL, there's you know the Swiss ephemeris and so on. Okay, so like all we're trying to do is get to UTC. We have to correctly get to UTC. So you're given a birth certificate that has a local time. Now the fact of the matter is that local time could change. It doesn't matter how many humans make up rules. Tuesday we could say we're two hours off. Wednesday we could say we're eight hours off. Thursday we could say we're 18 hours off. It doesn't make a difference. All you know is if that person was born on Wednesday, you better compensate by 18 hours to get to the original UTC. We are trying to recover the UTC time. In order to recover the UTC time, which is the actual time, we need to know how many hours off the local time is. If local officials decide to change how many hours off the local time is, we don't care except that we need to know exactly how many hours off it is for that given point in time, right? That's all we care about because we don't really care what they call it, we just care what the UTC time is. They can call it 3 p.m., but we know better than that, we know it's actually 2 p.m. UTC. They could call it 10 p.m., it could still be 2 p.m. UTC, right? Okay, so here I'm gonna consider with what John says. Uh, look at the time zone map of the world, you'll see the scale of the problem. I found a red line at UTC 0 and UTC plus 1. Look at the countries that fall within these zones. Greenland, for example, naturally spans four UTC time zones. But every chart in Greenland uses UTC minus 3. John is an idiot. John, you're an idiot. Yeah, he sent me this map with red lines showing natural divisions. There's no such thing as a natural division. Okay, there's no such thing. It doesn't matter. All we care about is what local time the doctor wrote. Because if the doctor knows that we're offset by three hours and 42 minutes and eight seconds, then that's what we have to add or subtract depending on what side of UTC we're on in order to recover UTC. Right? We don't care what the local time is. We don't care what they say the local time is except insofar as we need to use that value and we need to add the modifier, which could be a negative value, so it could subtract, right? And we add the modifier, and then we recover the original UTC time, which we use to look up the planetary positions, okay? John really doesn't get this. I don't know how to describe it any easier, any simpler. So, um, John says, I have built a new, or I'm building a new chart engine that'll calculate charts on the correct natural time zone basis. No human design, design software provider like Jovian would agree with me because then they'd have to change everything. But I have my own software and have built this because truth and accuracy is everything, if, even if inconvenient to the status quo. You are the status quo, John. The status quo is a bunch of idiots and you're an idiot, okay? All right, so yes, please feel free to share with us with the group. If someone can either prove me wrong or argue a better case, I will listen. No, you won't. No, you haven't. This was three years ago. This was three and a half years ago, and you still won't listen, John. You still will not listen, okay? I opened up the discussion, and unanimously, everyone who entered into the discussion agreed that you are wrong, and we proved you wrong, and we argued a better case. We argued not even a better... I mean, we argued like the actual way things actually work, not your crazy imaginary way that they work, right? Okay, so, and then I wrote and explained everything. Um, you know, I, here, I'll put this, um, I can put some of this in. Um, uh, okay. Yeah, so, yeah, um, he tries to simplify his assertion. We have a birthday of 22nd of April, 1964 at 5.45 a.m. One person was born in London and another in Madrid and another in Timbuktu in Mali. Um, now, okay, here's his simple example. Okay, person A, born in London, person B, born in Madrid, person C, born in Timbuktu, Mali. And they all have been given the exact same birth date on their birth certificate. Okay, well, London and Mali are in the same time zone. So the person A and person C were born at the same time, okay? Because the birth date is 22nd of April, 1964 at 5.45 a.m. That's what it says on the birth certificate. That's the number we're given. I mean, that's the, that's the date, right? Okay, so the person in London and the person born in Mali were born on the 22nd of April, 1964 at 5.45 a.m. UTC, because London time is UTC time. 
Timbuktu time is UTC time. So they were born at 5.45 a.m. on the 22nd of April, 1964. Another person, B, is born in Madrid. Sorry, I'm, I'm in New Mexico now. We pronounce it Madrid. Uh, Madrid, okay? So person B was born in Madrid. And he's saying that they were all born at the exact same time. But he says person B is a different chart because Madrid is converted to UTC plus one for that local time. But geographically, the sun is in the same place for all of them. So they must all have the same chart. Ergo, person B should be calculated with UTC offset of plus zero, not plus one. An equally simple response would suffice. Okay, here's an equally simple response. Person B was not born at 5.45 a.m. They were born an hour earlier. Person B has already been born and alive for an hour, you know, as a little baby at the time that persons A and C are born. So see, John's already confused. He says, we have a birth date of 22nd of April, 1964 at 5.45 a.m. One person was born in London, A, another B in Madrid, and another in C, Timbuktu, Mali. Person A is the exact same chart as person C, but person B is a different chart. Right? But he's saying person B should have the same chart. No, they shouldn't. They were born an hour earlier. Why would they have the same chart? They were born an hour earlier. He's claiming they were all born at the same time because we're given the same time. Guess what? They're different times in universal time. They were all born at the same local time. You can have people born in 24 different time zones born at the same local time, each born an hour or a number of hours off from each other, right? I'm just gonna, you know what? Um, I, I think I'm gonna postpone for the rest of this, but I am going to, um, okay. So um, I'm just gonna put John's message here and then I'm gonna leave this to the commenters. Please, if you have any ideas in the comments, you know, it's absolutely clear to me and to everyone else I've talked to and to all the software developers and even the non-developers, I mean, basically everyone, it's clear that John does not understand how time zones work. But I want to put this into the comments. And if you also don't understand how time zones work, I want you to understand how time zones work. So if you're somebody who is on John's side, because a few of them are out there, very rare, and they usually give up as soon as they realize that he's wrong. But if you are a proponent of the genetic matrix, or, or even if it's just confusing to you, post in the comment and just say, look, I don't really understand. And let's just use this example. Let's use the London Madrid Timbuktu example, because this is his example. This is what he wants clarification on. And I think that this is a really good example because it shows how he's already confused. He's saying three different people were all born on the 22nd of April, 1964 at 5.45 a.m. In his head, he imagines they're all born at the same time. That's not true. As soon as you tell me three people were born at 5.45 a.m. local time, I say, well, what time zones were they born in? Well, two of them were born in UTC plus zero. Okay, then they were born at the same time. One of them was born in UTC plus one. Doesn't matter if that person was west or east of London, the person born at UTC plus one was not born at the same time as the other two people. They were born an hour earlier. Okay, I'm gonna wrap up for now. Thanks for watching. Uh, please post any questions, comments, anything at all. You know, this keeps coming back up and I just really want um, to make this clear. I'll probably do a follow-up part two where we finish um, you know, the email thread and, and we can see some more of John's replies. Um, but, you know, he, he literally says that he will listen to reason. And then I explained to him exactly where he's confused patiently over 15 emails or, you know, seven each or something. And, um, you know, it's, it's like talking to a brick wall. So, Please, uh, yeah, please put any comments, anything like that, if, if you have a hard time understanding this. I do understand that time zones can be a little tricky, and I don't, I don't want to be an arrogant jerk about it. I mean, I'm a computer programmer, and I have worked with time zones quite a bit, so I may have more experience in this area than others. But it really is quite simple. He's making it way more complicated, and he's throwing in all these red herrings and things that have nothing to do with it, like natural versus human time zone and natural division of time zone. There's no such thing. There's no such thing. All we're trying to do is get back to UTC time so we can tell where the damn planets are. Okay, that's, that's it for me today. All right, thanks for watching.